Who am I? I am Jeff Adams, CEO of Black Fuel Music slash 220 Entertainment Group. We do a lot of things. We have a management company. We manage Group One crew, Rachel Lampa, artist named Charmaine, Sean Locke, Rayma Soul, Ryan Stevenson, a rock band on Tooth and Down called Highland. So we have a lot of artists on the management wing. And we have a distributor label through Fontana Universal as well that we just launched in uh, 2011. What I was doing when I was a young lad, when Frontline Records was around, it was a source for good music for me, being raised in the church. My background was a uh, Christian hip hop, so I really flocked to a lot of that music. And you know, I remember Frontline here in PID's first record, I flipped out because it was something I could play in youth group and uh, not get in trouble. At that time where you know my first run in with Christian rap was Stephen Wiley. Michael Peace and they had good hearts, but you know, let's be, let's be real about it. Just the music, eh. So when PID came out, they took it to a whole different level and the Dynamic Twins and, you know, D-Boy. Frontline was the label you kind of looked at like, hey, you know, I want to be on that label. You know, and then, you know, Paul Lou and Daniel Amos and just so many great artists from that era. And I'm glad that it's available because you could never find any of this music anywhere. And now you can just go download it. It's fantastic. When someone says Frontline Records to me, I really think history. I think a lot of people in that time with Diamante being a distributor West Coast and there was Nashville, CCM, you know, Diamante was never really invited to the Dove Awards. But when I think of Frontline, I think of alternative pushing down walls of really great music and art that Nashville at that time would not allow through Christian music. And there was just great scene in California going on with this music and it was amazing. So that's what I think about Frontline. It was a trendsetter. If I can base what I'm doing that now on Frontline and this time that we're living in the music industry is you've got to think outside the box and take risk. And Frontline at that time took a lot of risk and they were passionate about it. They got behind it, especially with Christian rap. At that time, he's like, who has ever heard of Christian rap? They were saying it came from the jungles of Africa. It was demon music. And they took a chance. They took a chance on great rock bands. So that's what I think of Frontline when it comes to my business is, is taking a chance on something and believing in it. Okay, if you never heard of Frontline and you listen to Christian music, you should know about Frontline. Frontline was a, an amazing label, releasing great artists at the time. A lot of history there, a lot of people that I still look at it this day that should have been bigger than what they were. But what I went back to before, it was Nashville not letting them in. And you should just go check out the music. I still like Poor Lou, you know, Aaron Sprinkle, What Up Man, amazing records. They were an amazing band. And I believe Brandon from Tooth and Nail was actually an intern at Frontline. And then he left Frontline and went up to Seattle and started Tooth and Nail Records. So a little Frontline history there for you. A lot of things happened out of Frontline that's going on in Christian music now. A lot of people doing a lot of great things that were influenced by Frontline Records. A lot of still relationships because of Frontline Records uh, that I still have that are still in the business to this day, you know, was revolving around Frontline. So, great brand. I think with Frontline, it really helped me because I, I realized when you're doing this stuff, I mean, A, if you're a believer, you really got to rely on God, but you can only rely on yourself to get anything done. And I, I really based a lot of those records like Dynamic Twins, PID, D-Boy, a lot of these records that were coming out, they did it themselves, you know, and then they had a great company get behind them and push them. And that's a lot of what our company is based around that philosophy. It's like you've got to have something going and, and have passionate artists that know where they want to go, and we get behind that. So I, ideally, you could really base what we do as Black Fuel Music based around what Frontline did in the yeah. late 80s, early 90s.